This is a dragon named Cole. Uh, Pre-alpha, as you see there. So, not even alpha level. It's a uh, basically this is the first test re release of the game. The reason I'm looking at it is uh, the primary author is Ash Blue, who is a guy who I co-authored an HTML5 book with. Uh, well, a couple of years ago now. Uh, he wrote the game development uh, chapters in that book and did an excellent job of it. So, uh, I'll go into a new game. This is running uh, native on Linux. Yes, I think it's a Unity game. So we can uh, attack things with a sword. We can jump in the air. Ooh, and we can do framey things. Framey things with Y, okay. We can shatter boxes, which is nice. In the game of life, the best cards win. But what about those who aren't dealt in? Cursed by circumstance, do they become a monster? Or do they shape their fate into something beautiful? So, there's some uh, RPG elements going on here. You can see at the bottom, uh, I'm getting a skill in foraging. It doesn't seem like I can access... Oh, there we go. I've collected stuff. I'm on a quest. I'm in that room. Okay. And uh, a reminder, this isn't yet complete. In fact, this is really just the first uh, first release. So I've, I've played it a little bit. It uh, seems like a fun game. So here we are at a house. Who had read about doorknobs and books but never seen one? Sadly, Cole was just pushing it the wrong way, as the lock on the other side was broken. So, we can't get through the door. We can't climb up the ladder. We can move this rock about. Conveniently located, which allows us to leap up and access this ladder, which does work. Cold, damp floorboards left the room eerily silent, but disturbed dust made it plain someone was living here. Our hopeful dragon thought it must be a nice family. Maybe they would make a thing called cake, mentioned in a cookbook. It sounded delicious and moist. And uh, one thing I like is uh, if you get on a bed, you can't help but bounce on it. It's a bouncy bed. Let's head down the ladder. So uh, this is a music box, I think. Nice uh, pixely lighting effect there. So we can now get in and out of that door. But we can't get out of this door. So there's a little puzzle going on here. You'll see there's a uh, hint glowing away there. So we release that rope and head back up. See, I have just done this, so it's not that I'm... Uh, and once you do that, a little platform appears and we can leap over and we get to the, the first cutscene. Uh, 
poor starving orphans. <laughs> Seeing brother and sister, arguing as brothers and sisters do. And here are the big bad men. Nasty. floorboard there and boom the wicked witch is dead <laughs> everyone's running away cool oh, was up. never good at introductions uh, they frequently ended with angry mobs or disappointment and on rare occasions both the cutscene. Turns out the little girl is a, uh, a wizard, Harry. Which upsets them, apparently. Made a new friend. Frey will my re remember my response. seen a human child before. The creature had a large head, small body, and smelled funny. But its heart, its heart was kind and caring. As our little dragon needed a friend now more than ever. Ah. So you see, it's a combination of uh, platforming and uh, puzzle mechanics with uh, RPG type stuff. My health is slowly regenerating over the top. We can't go in any of these doors because they're locked. So we have to go into this cavern. And uh, I presume Great Adventure continues. I went in here earlier and, and got killed by a rat. Here we are, look. 
So there's more fighting going on. It looks like this could be a, a fun game. Native Linux support. Uh, I'll put the link to the website in the description. I think this is uh, pretty good. Check it out.